Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, oh yo, we got Offset uh, telling folks to stop being scared. You know what I'm saying? We we, we gonna talk about that. All right? We got uh, Shannon Sharp man getting 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 clapped um, uh, at, from everybody. You know what I mean? We also got um, uh, Benzino man, uh, Old Block Louis. Uh, haven't been shot in the head in his recovery, man. We got Rick Ross on the promised land and um, uh, Sexy Red again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Yo, that notification bell is waiting for your task. going to give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and just that too. You check this out, man. This one right here is going to really make you upset. You ready? Listen. Remember yesterday when we told you that Double uh, XL announced Sexy Red as their female artist of the year? Well, while you nodded in approval, uh, uh, hold on, let me l- l- let me throw this out here for a second, okay? Before I even continue, all right? For the record, Sexy Red is a person. <laughs> you like no ish, Sherlock. Hey, hey, settle down. All right, listen. Sexy Red is a character that a lot of people can't stand. Okay, Janae Nira Weary is a 25 year old woman from missouri that's that's sexy red all right now my understanding is she started rapping when her boyfriend cheated on her and she decided to write a diss song about it so if you want to dislike anybody we need to find that bastard that cheated on janae you know what i'm saying uh because now we got sexy red now uh in last august she was asked what's the craziest thing you've ever been through sexy red responded by saying I got violated before, you know, all word violated. Okay. She said, that's the craziest thing that ever happened to me. Now, um, it, it was Lil Yachty and what's his name? Mitch gone mad. They was like different story, different story. Then she was like, uh, okay. Craziest thing happened. Shootout. <laughs> they was like, whoop, that's better. So a lot of what we see from her can be the expression of a woman who was violated. Are you understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth? Like a woman that is violated and is now trying to take control of her sexuality in response to having had it forcefully taken from her. Like a lot of women and men, but largely women that find themselves doing porn. Okay. Are, these are people that usually have been taken advantage of and they want to take back control of their sexuality on their terms. So they're either sexually frigid or they're hypersexually promiscuous. They've usually been taken advantage of when they weren't psychologically prepared for the experience. And promiscuity, pound town, sex work, stripping is usually the result. It's not because the women are dirty. A lot of us are damaged. They are damaged in a way that you might not be. Now, this is just my way of trying to humanize Janae Nera Weary, okay? Because, because... When we see Sexy Red, we tend to not humanize that. We either hate it or we love it. We hate it for its corrupting influence or we love the character because we want to exploit it and see how it promotes exploitation of the innocent, right? Um, Remember the dragon sitting in front of the woman is ready to give birth to devour the child? Hey, look, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you got to go like three or four vids back, man. Revelation 12, 14. Listen, Questlove is getting backlash, right? From hip hop enthusiasts because Quest Love has announced on Instagram that Sexy Red will be performing at the next Roots picnic. And 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 hip hop purists are stomping their picnic baskets in rebellion to that idea. Yeah, you know I mean, one person said, Man, can't believe you're adding Ratchet Roger to the bill. Shaking my head. Another person said that Quest Love. Sexy Red is not somebody we want to see. She's pushing an agenda that does not represent the black woman in a good light. Please reconsider. Somebody else said, I guess the song What They Do has officially lost its meaning. Uh, that person was referencing um, a song that the Roots dropped back in 96 where they criticized mainstream rap. Now, imagine this, right? People think of the Roots and their conscious lyrics of uh, black thought, right? A lot of artists just need to be on the right path and they need the OGs to walk beside them. Otherwise, they fall prey to the dragons in the industry that want to devour them and whatever they produce. It would be fantastic if Questlove was trying to help Shorty out, trying to keep her from further exploitation, because that's what we're watching right now. We're watching folks exploit this woman. Okay, they're using her to promote 
a poison in the culture that they don't want their children to drink. They want your children to drink. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess the real question is, why? Why why the promotion of the poison? Okay? Uh, anyway, listen. Um, Rick Ross, as you know, right? He lives, I think the location that he bought or whatever, he calls it the promised land. All right? It's on uh, Old, Na- Old National in Georgia. All right? Um... Which, which my understanding is, oh, Nat is like, you know what I mean? Like the hood hood. Now, uh, take a listen to how much Rick Ross said he has uh, come up since buying the promised land. Take a listen, Rick. When I bought the promised land, I paid $5.9 million for it. Um, it was estimated at over $30 million last time we had it, you know, value that. So that's a great investment. And once again, um, I remember sitting there talking to my mom like, she like, Will. The house got a damn 120 rooms. What the hell are you going to do with 120 <laughs> rooms? Yeah. But I knew, as you know, as long as I had that conversation with her and I could convince her because she got my back regardless. But when she stopped questioning me and just looking at me and... Start seeing the vision. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't have to answer every time I do something. So he said he brought he bought a promised land property in Georgia for $5.9 million and currently... It's worth thirty million. So that's, that's that's a lot of money. Uh, one person posted in the comments. They said this man got one hundred twenty rooms, and my broke ass living in a rental car. Yikes! Somebody responds to that person and said, "You should probably get off IG for a couple of months and figure this out." <laughs> um, somebody said, "I'm from Atlanta, and that will forever be Evander Holyfield House." Somebody else said, "Each room got drinks with Molly in them." Why? Um. Sh- Shinojo said nothing on old Nat is worth 30 million uh, and somebody else said look he won't be able to sell it and, and, and lastly one person said think about the fact that there are people dying of hunger that's true there are people dying of hunger go feed them go feed them you got money go feed you live in a rich country go feed them okay um, there's nothing worse than someone telling like somebody saying hey look look how, let me tell you how noble I am Take some of your money and feed the homeless. That's not noble when you tell somebody to take their money and go feed the homeless. Okay. It's noble if you fed the homeless, but not when you tell people who make money to take some of their money and feed the homeless. You understand what I'm saying? You like celeb talking like a true Republican. Hey, look, man, I just believe that if you, if you do the work, you should be able to direct where your money goes. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Don't, don't, don't you feel that way about your money? Or should I tell you what you should do with your money? In fact, let me tell you what to do with your money right now. You ready? Yeah, I didn't think you were. Uh, Listen, listen, listen. Here's what's crazy, okay? I see teenagers all the time wearing King Von shirts, right? King Now, King Von confessed to killing approximately seven people before saying, I wonder who's going to get killed in November. Then, of course, he himself was murdered. When? In November. But when he got hit with the heat, in front of everybody on camera he wasn't the only one to get hit apparently another member of old block got hit as well someone by the name of old block louis he also got hit in the head but he survived he got hit with the same thing vaughn got hit with he got hit in the head and he survived see this is why i say man we are immortal until the time that it is written for us to go you understand what i'm saying see I believe in the black universe theory. <laughs> you like black universe? I, I said block universe. Put simply, imagine space and time as a big four dimensional grid where each point represents a specific place at a particular time. Now, the block universe idea says that everything that ever happened is happening or will happen is already in the grid, like a big block of events. So just like you could walk forward and backward in space, you could also think of moving forward or backward in time. But all the moments are already there in the block, just waiting for us to experience them. So if O Block Louie gets hit in the head with a bullet while King Von gets murked, although it already happened, that event still exists now. <laughs> look, look, let, let me not confuse you. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are like, yo, I'm too high for this. Listen, okay? You can't die unless it's time for you to die. But that don't mean live recklessly. Because you will give an account to a supreme judge that is not impressed with who you are. <laughs> My bad. You know I be trailing off. Listen, why don't you look? Look, look, look. look. 
You keep accidentally learning over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, Oblock Louie has shown a photo of his recovery after getting shot in the dome that same night. Take a look at this picture real quick, man. Now, world world star hip hop. This is what they posted in, in addition to the picture. Let me see if I can pull it up. They posted, uh, let's see if I can. They posted, it says, King Von's friend, Oblot Louis, shows a recovery photo after he was shot in the head the night Von passed. Um, it says, King Von's friend, Oblot Louis, who was shot in the head the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's what it looks like. You know, some folks had jokes and all this other stuff. But some people are slow. Okay. Now, um, how can I say this? Like, See, this is all over the gram yesterday, right? And, and this is the side of the streets that they tell you could happen, but they don't show you, show it to you. They don't show you that, okay? At this point, I wish while rappers rapped about the streets and how street they are, they they would show during the video, like, all the other street ninjas that was murdered, laying in a puddle of blood, bone fragments, and brain all over the place. You follow what I'm saying? So folks could know this is the end of the streets. It's a dead end street. You know what I mean? Um, or this viral pick if you survive. You follow what I'm saying? Look, they all want to believe they'll end up like Boosie and 50. Not knowing that Boosie and 50, they have nightmares too. I know, I look, I know killers that be like they every every when they go to sleep, they see the faces of the people they've murdered. You like you ain't gonna turn them in? I mean, I don't know if they're telling the truth or not. Anyway, uh, listen, I bet you was wondering, um, <laughs> I wonder what Benzino do, be doing with his penis. Well, lucky for you, he has provided that information. The, the former CEO and co-owner of the Source magazine stated that one Memorial Day weekend, he turned into a complete savage. Take a listen. How many chicks have y'all had at, at the same time? Two. That's a, Two? Two? That's far as I went. Damn, Pete. She's a chill dude, man. I don't need Rip. no more. Two is enough. Two I mean, is a lot. What's your, what's your max, right? All right, so I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all ready uh -oh. for this? Uh-oh. Everything all. Y'all ready for this? Go. All right. So, one Memorial Weekend, right? Because mm -hmm. really... We was giving source awards down there. We was really getting, we really was responsible for a lot of black people to come on the beach and go in the water and like just walk up and down Collins and like we, the source really did that. Now, not taking nothing from Luke and them, but and everybody in Miami, but when we came down there, I put a club Zeno right on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Not really on fifth, we was on the beach and we started, it was crazy. So one weekend I said, man, I wonder how many chicks. I could smash him all weekend. Right? So it started from Thursday to Monday. Okay? I had Thursday to Monday. I bet somebody I could smash 20. From Thursday to Monday? From Thursday to Monday. I end up smashing 14. How many raw dogs? It's Keep it a buck. Six of them I knew. So you said you went raw six times? Nah, I think of more than that. <laughs> nah. I, yo, you raw dog, dog six <laughs> niggas the animal. Ew, you monster. Get back. Uh, 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 14 women, man? Six unprotected? Well, I mean, I guess it's Miami, so I, I mean, I, I, I guess I should expect that. But jeez, man, like that's nasty, bro. Because, you know, a lot of people, they don't be washing like that. Like a lot of people are not clean so you know just because like a woman opened up a leg that don't necessarily mean that they clean and 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 fellas we all know a lot of fellas ain't clean they do nasty stuff you know what i'm saying so uh, you know that's just he's he's disgusting for that it's not a flex not to me not to me yeah i get it you, you got a lot of women give you buns and, and the whole nine yards yeah i get it but you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of buns are not clean then you, you know then well i'm not gonna even go into anyway uh let me see what my time is looking like. All right, all right. Look, let me give you my shout-outs real quick. Shout-outs real quick. All right, look, look, look. Shout-out to uh, Febu Fam. Febu Fam say, yo, Celeb, me and the queen love your content, bro. 
keep it up. Hey, yo, man, I appreciate that, man. That does mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else we got over here, man? On that, we got uh, let me see how over here. I right, look, right, look, look, Route 30 Productions. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to you, man. Him and I had a little conversation on the gram, man. You know what I'm saying? He was he um he didn't love what I said about uh uh but killer mike he didn't love what i said about killer mike so we had our our discussion over there in private you know what i'm saying uh shout out to carl little my man says celeb this is a channel of keeping it real and if we can't wear trump shoes then you can't wear jordans because he don't mess with us either that's number one he goes number two the lawyer that got charged with the gang charges is not thugger's lawyer it was his co-defendant's lawyer and the client she's representing is on his own case being tried separately after thug's case Call it, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I can take correction. Sometimes we need to, I need to be corrected. You know what I'm saying? There's very few times I'm wrong. You know what I mean? But, um, uh, you know, I mean, when I'm wrong, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I, you actually learn something when you're wrong. So it's okay to be wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? Uh, let's get right back to it, Raptors Bad Boy. We got a short video for today. Okay? Um, let me see. What am I eating for tonight? I think I'm going to eat wings. I'm eating wings tonight. Crispy wings. I right, little, 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 and potato salad. You know what I mean? Anyway, look, you, you didn't tune in for that. Shannon Sharp dropped that Cat Williams interview back in January, right? Since then, everybody is clapping at the man. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what he did. Eddie Griffin coming at him, Mike Epps coming, Mace, and now even Kai Sinai. <laughs> look, you mean to tell me if I get a viral video of a couple of million million views, I, I get to I get to look forward to that? They don't question his sexuality. They saying the man be talking tough. But but he ain't really about it, about it, about it like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, since he mentioned Kai Sinat, Kai Sinat is on that ass. You know what I mean? Take a listen to um, <laughs> Kai Sinat getting bit out of shit with Shannon Sharp. Long jumped over Shaq. Jay LeBron jumped over Kai Sinat in a seat. What am I supposed to do with that, Stephen A? They should have gave him a two across the board. The man's already three foot tall. You put him in a chair 91, 91 five. Oh, fuck, you said it! Oh, fuck no! I didn't know you said the shit! Said it! Fuck you! No, 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 Fuck you! No, 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 I know. Nigga, is this national TV, my nigga? What the fuck? No, 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 no. Why I just go straight like that? Nigga, is this national TV? Pass here. Hey, yo, I hope that played, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, he is kind of short, though. He is kind of short, but but that's body shaming. <laughs> um, uh, look, 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 Kaz and I was very, very upset with what Shadow Sharp did, man. You know what I mean? <sighs> Wait, 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 wait. Before I even said it, um, you, you like, yo, wait, what about what about the Mace situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I mean to get into. Listen, um, he did talk about Mace. Uh, take a listen to what Shannon Sharp said concerning Mace. Well, but this is what I do. This is what I this is what I'm saying. I have to talk to my sister. I ain't more beef. So anytime anybody says anything, they can get away with it. At some point. We gonna have to stand your ground like the Florida law. My like, my job. To... Take a listen to what Mace had to say in response to that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. So Nick, well, oh Shannon said something. <laughs> he called me a fake bastard. Somebody oh, offended man. to me. I wanted to tell him, put the camera on me. I'm just gonna go, <laughs> you know, from the jump. Listen, listen, Shannon. I'm not the one to play with. I, I, matter of fact, I'm not even going to take that road. I'm, I'm going to take a different road with you. Listen. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mace for that. You know what I mean? And finally. So, apparently it's been stated, right? That Cardi B and Offset were spotted during uh, Valentine's Day. But look, you don't care about that. Because you just want another album from the lovely Cardi B. Well, that album may be a bit closer than you think. Apparently... Offset has been listening to Cardi B's album and he posted his response to Cardi B's album. Take a look. Now, Offset uh, added a caption which reads, stop being scary and drop the album. He said, Ish goes crazy. Now, she did give her reason for not dropping her follow-up to her uh, 2018 Invasion of Privacy album before. You know what I mean? Two years ago, she, she was like, she said, I, used, I used to love to make music but now making music to me has become a job that gives me anxiety 
everybody just critique everything that I do that it's just like sometimes you just don't want to do something that may give you too much anxiety. Close quote. Uh, yeah, look, I get that. I get that. Look, she's a bit nervous because she doesn't want to let her fans down. Okay, I get it. Okay. But there is a group of people that she can't do no wrong with. That is to say, like, no matter what she says or what she does, folks are going to ride with her. There's a lot of people that are going to ride with her. Okay. But on the B side, the longer she waits, the more the anticipation builds and the harder it'll be to please the masses. So it's kind of like she's she's between a rock and a hard place at this point. If she waits long, then well, first of all, timing is everything. If you drop something, if you drop something at the right time, then it could be everything. If you drop it at the wrong time, then it's just then you know what I mean? So timing is definitely everything. Okay? Uh but but I would imagine let's say her album was underwhelming, right? Okay? Cardi, look cuz we know you're listening. If your album is underwhelming, right? Th- then my my I would imagine what might be best under that circumstance, flood the market. You know what I mean? Flood the not just in music either, man, in everything. Then people will forget the album that was mid cuz she'd be in your faces every other way and every other day. There are some artists that sometimes they be dropping album and the albums like they're not they're not really, you know what I'm saying? But you can't stop talking about them cuz they're all over the place. Anyway, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.